what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so today we're going to be doing another grind video so if you don't know over 2023 i want to do a grind spot video in pretty much all the relevant spots so you guys can see how you do it and what makes this special is we're going to be doing it in the marnie realm and so for all of you who are not geared yet and you're looking to do it in the future this is what we could do so what we're going to be doing today is the bloody monastery elvia version of course and um i actually want to try a new crystal setup it's not really new it's just a little different from the meta uh well not really different it's just a few changes so this is what we're going to be using um i am a little bit over the ap cap for this spot and like the monster damage and everything so what i opted to do was you could use those uh power crystals that give like 5 AP or something. And I'm gonna use Aluka's the PvP versions. Not so much for the damage or the I don't even think these are humans to be honest. Like the cultists. They might be humans. But we're gonna be mostly testing the attack and cast speed and see if that makes much of a difference. But I actually think Bloody Monastery, they might be humans, so this could also help. So this is the setup I'm using for today's grind. Um, and just to, let me buy, uh, all this stuff and then get my horse buff real quick. Then let me, let me make sure. Okay. So food. Okay. So this is where we're at. This is my num. These are my numbers. Uh, I didn't pop the, my elixirs and bell's heart yet so add that in in a minute but anyway yeah so i wanted to go back into this spot um i've done a fair bit of grinding here i haven't done any in a while mostly because i was going for the cups like last year so the cups for the rings the everything belt and that was actually kind of it burnt me out of this spot for quite a while so then yeah we haven't been here so anyway, this is where we start. Let me turn everything on. Let me make sure. Oh, this is... Oh, man, I forgot. Those are gone. Uh, let's see. I'm at 250, 280, 290. And then let's pop this thingy. Uh, let's turn this on. I think you can use use these here anyway so we're going and hopefully this is what our stats should look like 880 i'm like a little over the ap cap but anyway here's what we're testing seeing if it's better popping the thing I forgot what it was called, like the extra fairy buff. So let me, there's so many things I have to remember. Just when I, for like one hour of grind, I wish there was a new UI. Cause uh, like, I know we have the fairy that does the continuous care, but like for all the other things I have to remember, like turning on my bells, popping all the extra buffs and everything. That's kind of a, an extra thing everyone has to do. So yeah, it's been a while since I've been here, so I might not get like top of the line trash loot that your average person gets, but this is also the Marnie realm, which is slightly a little bit lower because there's a few less pulls that I would do here than I would do in the original spot, like without the Marnie, but that's okay. The whole purpose of this series is to do it in the Marnie realm or as close to, as possible. Just so people can learn and get like their one hour of grind if that's all you do and do it in peace. So yeah, that's the point of the series. So hopefully you guys will still enjoy it. Even if the trash loot is probably slightly a bit lower. And I think if you Google the spreadsheet that tells you all the AP caps in every zone, I believe Bloody Monastery for Elvia is like 859. And then once you're cap over that, uh, you only get like a 5% increase. So I, I believe that uh, what I wanted to test was 
his attack and cast speed better past that point versus pushing that 5%. And I don't know. We'll find out. Depends if you have or how long you can go without overlapping on the spirit buff that we get here. You know, it's been a while and I don't actually remember how many of those drain shard thingies we got here. I used to remember me getting like five to six an hour, but that was also um, before I was like, I had less gear than I do now, but overall should be fine. I think if you are lower geared and you're thinking of trying out this spot, what I would recommend people doing is um, going, getting the artifact that gives monster AP and then getting some more stuff with that, like the light stones, that'll help you reach the cap or if not over cap it. So I believe there's uh, two blades and two like AP ones is the combo. I don't remember what it's called, but that uh, that gives you a huge chunk of uh, monster damage. So that should help you get reached the AP cap here, even if you aren't as geared as you are. Uh, so yeah, we are over clearing. There are a few other pulls that I would do. Like back here is kind of like the extra, extra one, but it's only because I have the Thing going on right now. Otherwise, I don't think I would need it. This sounds different. There's a one thing that I would recommend, or not really recommend, but just watch out for. This pull right over here, if you are in the Marnie Realm, you could get stuck in the wall over here. Whereas if you're not in it, you obviously just, there is no uh, thing. So one thing, if Pearl Abyss is ever watching my videos and stuff, which I, they might, this wall, just move it back a little bit. And I think that'll prevent a lot of accidents because I've definitely gotten stuck in it before. So if you just move that wall a little bit further back, that would be a great change. What is that? I dead at, is that new? Oh, this is an event item. And another thing, if you are like a faster class, you could go over here and do that this extra pull. Once the uh, spirit thing goes out in like four minutes, I don't think we actually need it. Sometimes I do wonder, like, <laughs> my pets aren't super agile, so. Oh yeah, I guess one other thing that some, this is not a common question that people ask me, but when people have no idea what color of the spirit thing, like, you know, when you do the quest and it gives you an option to choose like red, yellow, uh, blue. So it's kind of like elements and if you ever played Pokemon, which I'd like to think a lot of you guys have. Um, so basically this area, it drops yellow ones by default, right? So the one that would be effective, like the slight damage bonus, would be red. And like if you're grinding Nagas, which is, it drops the blue ones, the yellow one would be better to get. And then if you're grinding Elvia Orcs, which drops the red, um, I believe the blue one is the best. It's like a triangle rock, paper, scissors kind of thing. And uh, that's how you know. Just one in doubt, like, is it much of a difference? Uh, depends where you're at. Depends <laughs> how much gear you have. You're still gonna notice a difference, even if you choose, like, the neutral or the disadvantageous one. They're all still pretty good. It's just the difference between, like, one and two more extra skills. Ooh. 
We'll do these bells at the end. Just gotta make sure to remember the timer on it. Because they only last an hour, and so does my grind. <laughs> so, gotta make sure they don't expire. Also, no, this is not my normal clear speed. I wish it was, though. That would be pretty nice. Also, we got another quest to do later. And um, if you read today's patch notes, uh, basically, there's something with Port Rat. Well, obviously, the new region is coming out soon. So they added some new stuff into Killer's Eye, and we haven't done it yet. So I might do that a little bit later. Might do the video uh, tomorrow, actually, so. I didn't actually really read what the All Our Souls did. Yeah, those things. I know it's an event item, but got to figure out what they do. What do you turn them in for? Chikatu boxes at 20, Memfrags, and a... Ooh, those are pretty nice. And also, yeah, I had a lot of the extra, like, uh, what are these Marnie crystal thingies I had to use up. So I figured it'd be two in one. I use them up, make a video. You guys get to learn something potentially in the future. It's all good. Everyone wins. I wonder if we could get any lunar necklaces today. Or the, what is it, the equivalent thing you gotta turn into it. This is actually pretty rare. In my time grinding here, uh, I would say I get one of those lunar necklaces maybe once every like five hours. It's, they're not common. And I think they should be, because I, I would say I get like more Histria. Um, drop some Histria, like shards and everything. And those are more or less the same price. Quest done. I bet if I was like a Zerker or something, I'd be doing this a lot faster. Actually, Megu does really well. Everyone already knew that, but Megu, I feel like the spot extra cracked. All right, we're done being a superhuman for the next like uh, 10 minutes. Now we get to do normal person damage. Yeah, I don't actually know. What is the average trash loot people get here? An hour. And as for our test right now with the um, extra attack and cast speed, well, I guess attack for us, but do I notice a difference? Eh, a little bit, actually, to be honest. So that's why you see all the high-end people who have, like, splendid stones. 
That's why they use it over the bell and they give up like three AP from it. It's because the attack and cast speed is noticeable. I wonder, is this spot good for Agris coins? I don't think so. But I think the only place people say use the golden coins of Agris is uh, Elvia Oryx and Hex. El El Elvia Hex, that is. Not that people should be grinding there on normal anyway, but yeah. Yo, maybe we can get 20 unpolished soul crystal things and then we'll get a free shikatu box after this hour that would be nice i know dark knights aren't the best grinders but there's just something about it it's very calming to play or like it's not difficult what is my drop rate right now 295 not bad So the way I look at grinding Elvia spots is you see this little debuff right here. It means you can't get the next spirit buff until that thing dissolves or finishes, right? And each Elvia spirit buff that you leave on the ground lasts for five minutes. So if the timer is not lined up or if it's under four, then you're good. If it's five, you might be cutting it close. So that's how you know. Quest down. Oh, yeah, that birdie. Pro thing. I need to do that. It's uh once a week, by the way, if you haven't done it, and uh, you just buy stuff for X amount of silver. Maybe we'll do that another time. Like, it, I don't think it's worth making videos, but if you just need to find it, just go to every town. There's a map on the uh, patch notes somewhere, and it tells you where they spawn. One of four locations: Velia, Heidel, Alta Nova, and Calfion. And you just go find it, and then the NPC sells a bunch of goodies once a week. Or that you can buy once a week, that is. know why but I just feel like 
this is going slower than I normally go. I don't know. Like my trash loot would have been higher. I don't know. It, I'm like at the AP cap, so it's like either way the same thing. It's probably just the Marnie realm, and I can't do an extra pull or two because it's locked. But overall, it's like it's not bad. I'm happy. I would still do Marnie realm if I had to. I hit? I have no idea. Alright, so if we see another spirit thing pop up, we save it. Hopefully we don't grind too much um, over. Like, I kind of want to hit these on cooldown. That would be nice. Uh, you can't hit over the uh, barricade. You have a lot of events going on where you collect event items. You remember back in the day? When people thought these event items literally dropped the, like, drop rate of accessories and all this stuff. It's kind of a funny meme, but sometimes it really does feel like it. over would like to get another spirit real quick you know what's funny this is just kind of a wild observation it's just rng but i get a lot of those spirit things when you don't need it but when i do want it they don't appear Skill point. We're at 3,100 skill points. Definitely don't need that many. game my cooldown's over give me another one This will make up for it in the meantime. Ooh, another crystal. I like those. Those are good.
The best time to get those, like the spirit bus, is when you're doing the bells. Because it just like, you feel like you're just deleting everything super quickly. Unlucky. A whisper has something appeared? When? Ninety six hundred. have to do an extra do the back pulls now So far we got two bells and the highest I've ever gotten in one hour was like eight and that was a fun experience pulling them all at the end. I don't think people count the bells in an hour of grind, so we'll uh, we'll track before and after when we run it. You see how we just got like four of those lively whispers? We couldn't get it on cooldown. Feels bad, man. Haven't gotten a lot of those uh, shards though, which I don't really need it, but it'd just be nice to have. I think I gotta go do the back pulls during. The whisper.
They need to come up with more items that use uh, magical shards. For all the people who grind a lot, especially Elvia, you probably have a lot. And selling them for like two mil each. Yeah, you could do that. Or you could, you know, make something and make it worth more than that. I don't even think these are worth two mil each. Each magical shard is what, like 1.5? Another bell, let's go. Ooh, crystal. If that's only like once per family that uh, you get the boxes, I believe. But at least we'll get some memfrags out of it. It is one to one, right? No, it's, it's five of those to one memfrag. Yeah, but overall, like in the half an hour I've been grinding so far, I do sort of notice a difference with the extra attack and cast speed. I like it. To me, it's worth a little bit more than the extra AP, but I also overcap a lot of spots. There's only a few that, only a few places that I don't overcap, and that's like, um, actually, I could if I run like mega buffs, but. Ugh. It just feels cleaner when you're just deleting everything. Dropping a spirit bomb on people as a dark knight and then uh, things just get deleted. It's pretty satisfying, actually. Also, if you're wondering what these like narcs lightning and all that stuff do, if you uh if you had black star armor, they basically it's like capricing your gear. Like, yeah, there's narcs lightning. It gives stats the same way Capris would but for Black Star armors. Is it worth it? No. You you shouldn't have Black Star armor in general. And uh so you just vendor it free silver. But just in case you wondered what it did, that's it. I remember I used to have this, um, this grind spot on a node so I can get the extra drop rate. And then I realized it just wasn't worth it. And then after I got all the cups and stuff that I needed for my gear, uh, remove the node. Just came a little bit quicker. How many do we need of those? Like 20? 20 per box? Yeah, one quest per family. Yeah, okay, so we need about maybe... 
65 total plus any extra five is memfrags. Got it. Trees are literally the worst thing for grinding because your attacks don't go through them. <laughs> it sounds dumb when you say that out loud. It's just like, of course it doesn't. Also, just in case you are wondering, is this spot worth more than Elvia Oryx? The answer is no. Unless you get very lucky getting a lot of uh, earrings or the lunars, this spot is not worth it. Or like, it's not bad. It's just if you can grind Oryx, you should probably do that instead. The only time you should ever be in this spot is if you are self grinding the cups for your accessories. Because this spot and Elvia Oryx is like the same AP 280 requirement, I believe. So you might as well grind the one that gives more money. Also, you guys, I don't know about you, but I have not been getting a lot of those Seal of Wanderlust things. I've been able to get like three things, but I was thinking maybe like if I grind a lot, I could probably get everything on the turn in list. But man, I, if this assuming this event only lasts for one more week, I don't think I'm filling it out. I'm getting the important items, though. There's like three different event currencies you have to get right now. Uh, one is from Season Fishing, and that's just like, uh, that one, the rewards from that aren't that bad. Like, it, I don't think it's highest priority. I think the Seal of Wanderlust thing is the highest priority, like, event item currency you should be get going for now. And of course, today, today's patch had the purple crystals. It's my FPS. Uh, one, 140, more or less. All right. I need to get another monitor. Like, you see all these streamers with those 240 hertz monitors, and then they have, like, and they have the FPS counter showing at this, on the screen. It's, like, 300 FPS. I'm just like, dang, I wish I could do that. Seven minutes. But yeah. I think, but at the same time, if I'm ever like streaming or making a video, there is no way I want to play that in low resolution. Like, yeah, I could get dumb high FPS by playing in the lowest settings, but I don't know. It's it's different when you're playing versus like you're watching someone else. Like, if I'm doing a video, I don't want to show it off in the lowest resolution. I know people like have said this over the years and basically you you've heard this argument it's like graphics aren't everything in a game I that is true to an extent like for example like 
Valheim or something or Minecraft, people are like, oh, those graphics are terrible. Like, I can tolerate those. But like a game like Black Desert, where if you play in remastered, it actually looks really nice. And especially if you're like 4K screenshots and all those stuff. It, the game looks really good. So, I don't know. This is one of those special games where I just can't get myself to play it in low res. Also, I've been testing that Spirit Bloom, the Magnus skill, Blooming Black Rose. I'm trying to make it work, but sometimes, man, like, I feel like I should just keep that on permanent lock. I'm trying to make it work, though. Another bell. How many is that? Four? Oh, we got a got a necklace. Let's go. We'll calculate that into our totals after. Let me check the timer. 28 minutes? Okay. Okay, yeah, I have to run them all in 28 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna need a spirit buff thingy to drop right now so we can take it on cooldown. I think that one's going to disappear by the time my cooldown is up, so I might as well just take it now. I need one to spawn, like, now to save. Last time I checked, Lunars are like 130 mil each base. <laughs> that was an easy 250 mil. All right. You know what sucks? the river ones from Nagas, those are actually worthless. Basically, the equivalent is me getting a Disto. But this is a little bit less than a Disto. careful on that this bull you get yeeted through the wall it's you're gonna have to get out of the realm Ooh, we got it all right next pull it's got another one can't take them yet though another minute left on our cooldown
How many shards have we gotten? 11. That's not a lot, actually. Did they buffed the spot. Well, no, actually, no. As I, we just have an event drop rate buff. That makes sense. This is way above the average I get. Yo, can we get another lunar neck? I want another 250 mil free. That would be nice. I should put that on my uh, continuous care, but it's it's difficult because I don't always use these potions and. I kind of like I should save them for a very high end spots like Ash Forest and everything. Well, no, I feel like if I'm going to make a video trying to showcase my best, yeah, I should probably use them. Where did it drop at? I think it was uh, up the ramp. Not this ramp, the other one. Yo, Bell. I actually haven't been grinding as much as I should have been during the 700% XP buff. But it's okay. Like, I'm not in a rush to get 66. It would be nice, but I got things to do. See how we just get one when we don't need it? Mm, weird how that works, huh? But yeah, there are definitely spots here that I think are a little bit better than like this one. Well, no, it's like an extension out of this spot that makes this spot a little bit better. So if you aren't into Marnie Realm, what you would be doing is uh, going down this ramp right here. And then at the bottom, there'll be a few more. So like you can go down past the out of bounds area in the non Marnie realm. And there are a few more poles you can do if you're like a faster class. So yeah, down this bridge, there's like another pole or two. So your overall loot might be a little bit higher if you are a faster class. That's how you do it. But for the sake of the series, it's fine. Newer players that just grind an hour a day, that's fine. But yeah, like overall, I don't think the Marnie realm for this spot is bad at all. I just think if you're trying to min max and uh, you don't care about grinding in peace, then non Marnie realm is slightly better.
probably do this back one. It's not. Doesn't hurt. Is this place actually uh, contested? Back when I grinded, it it really wasn't. Depends on the day that you might run into like one or two people, but like realistically, you can probably find a channel back in the day. And by the back in the day, I mean like a few months ago. Yo, can we get 20? Yo, we have 18, let's go. Nice. Nineteen. We're getting a free Shikatu box out of this. Easy. I'm pretty sure everyone is going to cap out by the end of the event. All you have to do is, like, gather or grind for, like, an hour or two and you're good. Especially if you're grinding a low dent or a high density spot. Like, literally anywhere but this. <laughs> Probably get it done a lot faster. How many bells do we have? Five. We might actually make a separate video for that one because this one is already going to be an hour and then running the bells is 15 minutes each. Another seed. Ooh, this pull is like. <laughs> I uh, messed that pull up. Thirty-one oh one skill points. I wonder what my cap is. To be honest, probably like uh. 3200 or something like the cap is 3000 plus uh quest x or quest skill points so if this is your main character obviously it's going to be higher if it's not then it's probably going to be lower you quest on that yes good Oh, we are over clearing. Sometimes I wish DKs had bigger AoEs like Megu. Not necessarily changing damage, I just wish the radius was a little bit bigger.
I thought that were, they were going to run in quicker and then they would just pop them with the hundred. God, I love to see doubles when you don't need them. Oh, dang, we got 22 of those steals this hour. Pretty good. Ten seconds left on this buff. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of them. All right, so when it hits uh, five minutes, We'll calculate our totals. Because uh, that will be an actual hour. The Marnie Realm gives you an hour and five. And what we'll do after uh, in three minutes is we'll go run to Bells. Before they expire. You know what the funnier thing is? Getting another bell when you're running the bells. Just like infinite time. Got baited. I thought someone hit in my guild hit a real pen. That's just Tuvala. Fake pen. Doesn't count. I really wish they would take off Tuvala from the notification thing. Like, yeah, it's a pen. Cool. Oh, or at least have the option to be able to filter what you want to see like let's say you only want to see when people hit pen accessories you should be able to have that Alright, once we get back to the, uh, like, the church area, we'll go run to Bells.
So technically the hour is over when uh like all my buffs have like less than a minute on it. And so we'll finish up in this like city square area. Alright, cool. Um, let me get out of this Marnie realm. Let's put our trash in here so we can calculate. So we have a little bit under 20,000 trash loot here, which is 190 mil times for every 10,000, 380. And then a lot more goodies that we could calculate. So it's 250, 420, 600, probably around like 700 mil. Isn't too bad. But anyway, let's go run these bells. We're playing Dynasty Warriors now. Let's go. You guys heard of the, uh... What was it that Wo Long Dynasty something game? I was watching a few streamers play it, and my god, that game is so bad, it's, like, entertaining to watch, actually. Companies trying to copy Dark Souls and not doing it right. What's that noise? Is that the game? What? I'm gonna have to rewatch this. That is the game. World. Sounds like a, a, I don't know, some like animal or something. Oh, oh, that's another 250 mil. We're using that to enhance later. Ooh. Yeah, that noise. You just heard it. I'm trying to figure out, like, what that noise is supposed to be. But yeah, we've uh, definitely made over a billion silver an hour here.
yeah, that noise that's signaling like the start of the next wave that like creeps me out. It's like Woo, or something. <laughs> I don't think I've ever grinded when I had volume on like in a while. The only time I honestly like the only time I play with volume on is when I'm recording. Other than that, like I'm listening to like a podcast or something, listening to music in the background when I'm grinding, just game volume straight up off. About 10 seconds, we're about to get like superhuman status again. Another Lunar Neck would be a really nice game. Just just another free 250 mil. like everything's getting deleted You'll get a notification when it ends, like it's a red text at the top. It's like the noises of the bell cannot be heard anymore. If those are supposed to be like church bells ringing, I don't think developers have ever heard what a bell sounds like before <laughs> it's like distorted I like to think this is almost over. It's fun doing this, but I really wish it wasn't 15 minutes.
And in case you are new and have never grinded here, there's uh, Tears of the Sun thingy that you just saw. Those are used. You combine five of these with the moon, moon split nail and get, you get the lunar neck. Alright, so it's ending. That's good. Thank God. So, uh, we, I showed the totals of everything in our trash loot before we started and then after. So I think I'll have to go back and take a look, but I'm pretty sure we made like 800 mil, seven to 800 mil for these bells and then way over a billion afterwards. Okay, three down. All five of them once they st stop spawning. Okay, well, that was cool. Let us go back to town and then do a nice calculation total. Uh, the peaceful morning of the bloody monastery. Non Elvia version. Very safe. Very good spot to grind when you are low levels, as you guys have seen when I do my seasonal speed runs. All right, let's go back to town. Go deposit everything. See how much we actually made. Get me out of here. Do I have any random buffs running? No, that's off. That's off. Pets are on slow again. <laughs> I know it's late to say this, but I feel like I missed a buff this entire hour and a half or so. there. Okay, so let's deposit everything and see how much we made. These aren't as relevant. Wait, where did those go? Oh, never mind. Okay, so trash loot. Uh, 527 mil. That's just from vendorable goods. Then we got another 300 something. That's about another 60 mil plus another 500 mil. This is very lucky, actually, is above average. So if we count that, like 520 or whatever it said, plus another 500, one bill, maybe like 1.1 bill after if I were to sell everything. That was a pretty good hour. And uh, yeah, that's about it. If you guys want to see how it works, um, let me just pull one of these and then so you heat those things that you get a lot of from grinding. If you ever run out, just grind more.
Okay, actually, this is taking a long time. Just trust me, you make like a plus sign with all five of these into the new things and then put the thing above it. Anyway, 1.1 bill an hour, pretty good. And uh, I will see you later.